Good day, everyone. Welcome to another great section of this great tutorial class. And today we are going to be looking at another aspect of integration calculus. And uh, before we go into the question half, question one, question two, question three, question four, before we go into the questions, I would like you guys to subscribe to this channel, click that uh, subscription button so that you'll be one of our fans and uh, one someone is supporting us. To subscribe is free, it's free. There's no charges for it. And turn on that option bell so that you release an easy video. You'll be the first person to see it. And don't skip any part of this video so that you will get the full knowledge about this uh, topic and uh, this other section. And look at the definition. So let's look at the definition. The definition is that if you have integration of a function of x times the f prime of that function, the answer will be the function of x squared divided by 2 plus c. The function of x squared, that is when you square the function, then divide it by 2 plus c. Now let's check, let, let's check this. Let's use to run it as c. Now, if I multiply this, I'm going to have 2x times that is 4. That is 4x. And if I divide 4x, I'm going to have 2x squared. That's what I'm going to have, 2x squared. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have. So let's see if this is to give us 2x squared from this. So our function of x here, our function of x here, which is the first function here, is 2x. Then the f prime of x is 2. Because if you say 2s, you will have 2. Not going to say 2, that is why it's 2. No, no. If I say this 2s, I'm going to have 2. Have two. So if I say this, I'm going to have this. Then if you say this and have this, the final answer will be the function of x, which is 2s, squared over 2. That means 4s squared over 2. 2 here, 2 here, 2. That is 2s squared. Very correct. Very good. Very good. So that is just that. Now, for this second question, our function of x is 4x plus 3. And if you differentiate this function, you're going to have 4x, you're going to have 4. If you differentiate 3, you're going to have 0. So if you differentiate the function, you're going to have 4. So since I differentiate this, and the other is 4, the final equation will be 4x plus 3 raised to the power 2 over 2 plus c. You can open the bracket if you wish, then for the last entity to see what you are going to have, to see what you are going to have. So let's go to the next one we have here, which is this. Okay, we have term function of f here is term x, that is the function. First one is function of x. Then our f prime of x, if you rotate term x, you have sec square x, which is this. You see that now? So, the final answer of this problem will be, will be tan square x over 2. That will be the final answer of that problem plus c. Plus c. Because you be the function of x squared divided by 2. The function of x squared divided by, divided by 2. So, last one is the number 4 is this. That's going to happen. So let's check. This one is a simple question. Let's try and uh, make it so I think we multiply each other. Let's try and do it like that. So I'll do it like this. It will be the sine inverse of x times 1 over the square root of 1 minus s squared. Yes, I'll do it this way. Then our function of x will be the sine inverse of x. We change this function, we're going to have we change sine inverse of x, we're going to have 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. That's why we're going to have with the same charges. So automatically, the final sum will be equal to sine inverse of x raised to power 2 all over x plus c. That will be the final sum without problem. Or, you can see, this one times this, that is sine to power minus 2 x plus C divided by 2. So this is how this uh, section is and it's very simple. It's a very simple thing. Very simple thing. Very simple thing. So please ensure 
you subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be seeing amazing video like this. So this class we are going to be looking at uh, area under the curve and standard definite integration. That's what we are looking at in the next class. See you guys in our next class and God bless you. See you guys.